Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm doing a little review on the UFO Mogo and you may have seen my other review and I'll put that up here of the UFO system from PhotoPro which is this little guy right here. It's almost like a Joby Gorilla Pod but this thing is really really cool. Uh, it's super grippy and it's ridiculously flexible so if you're using this thing as a selfie stick or just as a, a travel tripod these things are great because they can just grip to pretty much everything you know, I mean, you can set this thing on a table, you can wrap it around a fence post, you can wrap it wherever you want, really. I mean, you could do it around this, this table, I'm sure it'll be totally fine. But, PhotoPro actually stepped up their game a little bit more and made an addition to the UFO system and to this tripod. And this is what it is right here. It's the UFO Mogo. <clears throat> so I'm going to get this thing out of the box. I'm going to show you what's cool about it. I'll just set that off to the side. I have your owner's manual, which I don't need. <clears throat> so this is everything it comes with right here. You have your smartphone holder with a threaded mount right there. You have a another grippy smartphone holder here. It comes with a tethered wrist lanyard and a Bluetooth shutter remote, which is great. And then the inside here is the actual UFO Mogo. So, so this is it right here. And it's very similar to the, to the tripod. So essentially what you would do is, I'm just gonna <clears throat> set this thing down a little bit further on the tabletop here. So essentially what you would do is you would move this thing around. <clears throat> you can loosen this up. And you can attach this to the tripod. And level that off. And on here you have another mount and another mount up here. So say you wanted to put your smartphone right here. If you want to make this like a uh, vlogging setup or something like that, you can set this thing up right here. You could have your smartphone here and you can mount the light or a mic up here, have this all dialed in, and say you wanted to put something else up here, you can use this one to also mount in. Say you want to put your smartphone in here, <clears throat> so now you have your iPhone sitting there, and you want to put something else up here like a light or a mic or something like that, you can do that. You could also use this thing as a camera stabilizer and kind of just do it that way, keep your your images and your video buttery smooth. Now is this outdoor gear related? No, it's not. But I do take my camera equipment out into the backcountry quite a bit and to have something like this, which is this small and versatile, is great. Just because of what you can do with it. So it does come with the two, obviously, two cell phone mounts. You could use this one and this is just a little twisty, has a little twisty on it. So you can twist that and it clamps down onto your cell phone, holds it in place. It has a nice soft cushion here and on the little legs here. So if it does grip onto your, uh, onto your smartphone, like so, you know it's not going to break it. But it's going to hold it in place, so that's cool. So also, another great thing, Bluetooth shutter remote. So you wirelessly uh, connect this thing to your smartphone, and you have a Bluetooth shutter. So you can actually be away from the camera, start recording, start stop recording, uh, take pictures, and what have you all from within about 30 feet, which is great. It's most Bluetooth distance. But this thing is really cool. It's really versatile. I like that, you know, you can use your smartphone if you really want to. If you don't want to, you could use this for something else. You can just disassemble this, take that off, and say you just want to put your, your smartphone with this one instead and save even more weight, you can do that and just kind of put your phone in it like so. And then boom, that'll hold your cell phone in place. So, depends on what you want it for, but there's a lot of cool different ways you can do this. Now, if you're using this thing as like a camera stabilizer, say you wanted to have this thing all dialed in and you have your camera right here, you can set this thing up against your shoulder, mount your camera to the bottom of it like this, and you have a shoulder rig that's going to keep it more steady too. So, that's another way you could do this thing. It's you know, the sky's the limit when you have something that's, you know, this versatile. And I mean, you can just see the, the bend. I mean, this thing has 
tremendous amount of flexibility to it. So sky's the limit, really. And this is like super sticky rubber too, so it's gonna really stick and grip to pretty much whatever you put it on. I'll show you on the tree behind me. All I did here is I took the uh, tripod off, but you could attach this thing to a tree and you still have access to your to your mount, depending on what you want. Like, I'm gonna do it this way. So if you mounted it just like that, it's gonna stay put, but then you have access to this, and you can move this in any which way you want. Which is great, I mean, just the, the versatility alone that you have this, is pretty awesome. I mean, you have this, you can tighten this down, that locks in place, you can move that, that locks in place. So it has two different settings for it to lock in place, and it's not gonna go anywhere, so that's great, that's what you want. I just like that, you know, when you have something like this, and you're bringing your camera gear out into the backcountry, you have a way, and a great way, mind you, to mount your equipment and get some cool dynamic shots. Now I do like that this little guy moves up and down depending on where you want it and this guy moves too. And it has this really nice little twisty for the screw mounts. Not only that, but it also has this nice little rubber on the bottom here that's going to grip onto your camera. So it's not going to go anywhere, it's also going to you know, minimize vibrations and shaky video and that kind of stuff too. So that's really great. I like the black and red too, it looks cool. So this is all mounted together. Basically get your ball mount all dialed in however you want it. And you can set this thing up. Just like that, I mean, any which way you want really. I mean, as I said, you could use this thing as a camera stabilizer. You could add your camera, you could put a mic up here. There's multiple options that you can do, which is great. So that's my review of the UFO MOGO from Photo Pro. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. If you're a camera person or videographer or just need some cool tripods and some cool stuff like this, definitely make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making a lot of cool stuff. So uh, worth a look at, in my opinion. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks again for tuning into my latest video. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.